Hey guys, James here and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've been living under the world's biggest rock, you are surely aware of the geopolitical events that are occurring right now. And these recent events have created very justifiable concerns here in the United States as well as abroad about what'll happen to fuel costs, including gasoline for our cars. But even leaving aside current events, I think it's actually really helpful and important to know how much you spend at the pump. So I created a spreadsheet calculator to help you understand three things. Number one, how much does fuel actually cost you on a yearly, monthly, daily, and per mile basis? Number two, how much rising fuel costs will actually affect your budget? So in other words, for every dollar increase in fuel prices, what does that do to your overall fuel costs? And number three, how much switch to an EV could save you in fuel costs. With all of that said, let's begin our walkthrough of the spreadsheet calculator. So the first thing to do is to go down to the description below and click the link to open up the spreadsheet. Once you open up the spreadsheet, you'll notice that it's view only, you can't actually edit it. So let's make a copy for you in your Google Drive. So hit file and then make a copy call it whatever you want and save it to your drive. There are two tabs on this spreadsheet. There's fuel costs and then fuel costs plus EV savings. Ignore the EV savings uh, tab for now. Let's just talk about the fuel costs, then we'll get to the EV savings one in a second. So here I've divided the spreadsheet into inputs and outputs. So the only numbers that you should be changing in the spreadsheet are, are these three right here. Uh, the number of miles you drive on average per year, I put 12,000 because that's a pretty typical uh, number for a lot of Americans. Fuel price per gallon, I put 450. I know some areas are you know, just, just approaching four and some areas are past six, like my area. Uh, but yeah, put in a number that makes sense for your area, the gas stations that you go to. And then finally, average MPGs for your vehicle. So um, a lot of cars, modern cars nowadays, will tell you what the average is. So you can go in there and see what, it, what your MPG numbers are for your particular driving style in your vehicle. And if you're really not sure, then you can use the EPA estimates, but it's, it's, it truly is better to use the actual numbers from your car because everybody drives differently. Once you enter those input figures up here, then the output figures will calculate automatically. So I'm just gonna change this one to 15,000 just to show you. See, you, you can see that the output numbers changed, right? So let's put this back at 12,000 and, uh, and take a look at what these outputs actually are. This first uh, set of outputs here uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? It's the amount of money you're spending on fuel per year, month, day, and mile. And so you can just see those numbers there. Now let's talk about what these outputs are down here. What these numbers are basically saying is, for every dollar that gas prices increase, what does that mean for how much you spend every year, month, day, and mile on fuel? So you'll see that if, for every dollar that gas prices go up, then you know, with a car that gets 25 miles a gallon and you drive, let's say you drive 12,000 miles a year, then that means every year you'll pay $480 more for fuel, which means $40 a month or $1.32 per day or about four cents per mile. So that's what those numbers are down there. Now that we've talked about this first tab, let's actually go ahead and go to that second tab that's a little bit more advanced, but largely just builds off of the first one. Now if we click over here, what you'll notice is that a lot of it is the same, right? These three inputs are the same. These eight outputs are also the same. But what I've added is uh, some, some stuff here for EVs. This tab of the spreadsheet is intended for any of you who are not only interested in the fuel costs and the impact of rising fuel costs, but also interested in understanding how much you could potentially save in fuel costs if you switched to an EV. Starting with this input right here, uh, EV charging rates price per kilowatt hour. Now, it, as a sample, as a starting figure, I put in 15 cents per kilowatt hour, but this number is going to vary widely depending on your circumstances. One extreme would be that you get to charge for free all the time. Let's say you just exclusively charge at work, it's always free, cool. That, then you'd put zero here, right? Um, on the other extreme, if you have very high electrical utility rates and you can only charge at home, for example, that would be a, a much higher cost. So you'll have to do some research on what your electric rates look like um, and take into account the different uh, electrical energy plans that your uh, utility might offer. So I just put in 15 cents per kilowatt hour as a sample figure. Now let's talk about this second input, EV energy consumption miles per kilowatt hour. And if you are familiar with EVs, you might look at this, this default figure that I put in here, 3.2, and say, hey, that's kind of low, and it is. And let me explain why. In this in this calculation, what we want to do is actually say, is we actually want to use kilowatt hours in the sense of how much energy is coming out of the wall, right? And so when you charge your, your EV battery, I remember I read an article 
from the IEEE that said that you know EV charging, assuming you're charging between say 20 and 80 percent of your battery's capacity, which is by the way the most efficient uh, range of, uh, for you to charge in, the efficiency of the charger of the charging process is somewhere between something like 82 and 88 percent. So call it 85 percent, right? And so what we want to do is account for that loss. If your vehicle is achieving about 3.6 or 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour of energy from the battery, then it may actually be only getting about 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour of energy coming out of the wall. Does that make sense? So basically we're losing some, some energy. There's some inefficiency as the energy comes out of the wall, goes through the charging you know, system and into the battery. And that loss, call it about 15%. So in putting in numbers here, um, if you think that you're that your uh, an EV that you would drive would get say 3.6 or 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, put like 3.2. Subtract that little bit of, of inefficiency there. Now that we have all five of these inputs, let's take a look at the outputs. These first eight outputs are exactly the same as on the first tab, the, the fuel costs tab. So um, let's take a look at these last four here. So driving an EV would save you this much in fuel costs per year, per month, per day, and per mile. So this will give you an idea of, okay, if you are concerned about fuel costs, you know, switching to an EV will probably cost you less in, you know, fuel. Uh, but, you know, of course, EVs are, expen are more expensive on the front end, right? The vehicle itself is more expensive than an equivalent gasoline car. So you can weigh that for yourself and see if it makes sense for your budget and your lifestyle. And that's pretty much it. Um, I super feel like a teacher when I say this, but if you have any questions about how the math works in here or how the spreadsheet works, how I created the formulas for the different outputs, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to answer all the questions that I see down there. I hope this spreadsheet calculator and this video are helpful for you to understand your fuel costs, the impact of every dollar increase in fuel costs, as well as the savings that you might get if you switch to an EV. If you found this video to be interesting or helpful, if you could go ahead and hit that like button down below, it really helps this little itty bitty automotive channel that I've got going on here. And it'll also tell the YouTube algorithm that, hey, this was a video that helped somebody and then it'll hopefully spread this out to other people so that other people can get a, a clear objective handle on what their fuel costs will look like. And also be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the stuff that have come out on this channel. Um, I talk about anything that I find to be interesting within the world of cars and uh, occasionally I also do reviews of cars so that's a lot of fun. Again my name is James thank you so much for watching until the end of this video and I will see you in the next one.